Welcome to Quick 3D Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how you can use your touchscreen PC for unsupported software. What I mean with that, if you have a touchscreen PC, you can actually, to use a software like Photoshop to draw on it, it is not allowed because Photoshop have not uh, supporting the touchscreen yet. And uh, there are also other uh, 3D application software like uh, Maya like Modbox, we have not supporting it yet. But there are actually, if we're looking inside uh, the internet, we have actually two different touchscreen. We have one from Wacom, which is supporting it. Also, we're getting like digital pen, but the price is, as you see, very expensive. And we can getting like normal screen with a touchscreen for normal PC, like this model there. It is a Dell, so it is much cheaper. But to use this, like a drawing on it or something like this, it is not supported on the Photoshop because it's Photoshop not supporting it. So the thing we can do, so there are uh, software we can download it and we can convert our touch screen to the mouse pointer. So here we're going to, to this web page and go to the download section uh, here. And here it is one for the desktop and that is the old version and we can get the new version. So we just downloading Tablet Pro. Save this out. And We just installing it. So here we have the PC touch screen and this touch screen I'm using is from Dell with the, this model name and it is about 300 bucks. So as you can see they have this feature you can put it always uh, down uh, and you can also use it as normal screen. So I will just show you how much down we can do it. So if we're going to the side way of it we can just grab it and push it always down so as you can see now we have pushing it always down so it is very easy to go to the draw mode so we can just simple go ahead and draw whatever thing we want but for now I just make it to the same position again so now we are in the back uh, default position of the screen so by the default the paint windows paint it working with your finger and you can of course use kind of pen touch pen like this and there are also another type of the touch which it came in with oh sorry uh, it came in with uh, this part it's just so it's yes so you can see we have like an angle we can also replace this one to protect our screen and put it back on so something like this and we can also use it for it so the paint it supports the touch screen but if we jump to Photoshop and try the brush, try to make it, it's not working. And that is because we need to have this software uh, to support it. So to do it, we just uh, right click on it, go to the setting. Uh, by the default setting, the only thing we want, the default setting is this, we're going to putting it to, to this one. Or we can also, yeah, I think it's better. 
and the second thing we have how uh, fast it need to register your touch so as a smaller it this number is uh, is going to be faster so we just putting it like this and the other thing I will also say about uh, we need to turn it on of course so now it is on you can also see it from here now we can go back to the Photoshop and now I can draw on Photoshop and if I turn this off it not support so we turn it again take some second to turn it on Yes. So, as you see, now we can draw anything inside the Photoshop. The other thing I will also say is uh, you cannot uh, use the touch uh, zoom in and out, uh, the feature they have here. So if I just do it like this, my screen is going to be black, I need to go to back. So we are in the back position, so we can just turn this one off. So we're going to only using it for drawing. And the second thing is if you want put your hand on it without affecting it, so it is good idea to take something like this stuff uh, because it's not touching your screen, as you see. I think I can do undo okay excuse me i i'm going just to make a new layer and hide this so as you can see it's not affecting it so now i can take my pen and go ahead and draw whatever i want to draw so that was for photoshop now you can you know also the mod box if I have, it is the same principle like Photoshop. Now I can affecting it because I have this on. And if it is off, I cannot do it. So we have another future. And this one is not digital pin. And that is just normal touch screen, uh, pin for touch screen. But if we look to ZBrush, we don't need to have this uh, software because by default, having it and so on the so next things we're looking to is Maya uh, excuse me here it is so here we are inside Maya in the Maya you have also only the viewport position and you cannot select something like this if I want to move it or anything so we need again go ahead and turn this on and now i can click on it it's like your mouse i can move it i can do everything i want like the mouse and i can of course use this clopping tool from it okay yeah you get the idea so with this software you can uh, use your touch screen not matter which uh, software you're going to use it look like you're using your mouse and not your multi-touch screen so i hope it uh, helps and thanks for watching